What is up you guys, it's Bolt 98 and in this video we're going to be talking about all the new guns that are yet to see the light in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So yes, these guns plus more are still yet to see the light in Call of Duty. Should we be seeing them in Season 5? We're not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Along with these new guns that we haven't seen yet in Modern Warfare 3, we also have two new aftermarket parts that may be coming in Season 5. Both of these aftermarket parts are for both the Moors and the Ball 27. For the Moors, we'll have an aftermarket part that is turning the gun into a blunderbuss shotgun. We've seen the blunderbuss before in titles such as Advanced Warfare and World War II. Of course, with the new aftermarket part system that Modern Warfare 3 has brought in, this will be the first time we'll actually be able to change a sniper to a blunderbuss. Our second aftermarket part is for the Ball 27. Yes, yeah, so this Ball 27 aftermarket part is going to allow the Ball 27 to have infinite ammo. However, it will overheat. So we've seen this before with a gun called the AE-4, which was in Advanced Warfare. Uh, basically, you'll be able to shoot infinite ammo to an extent. You'll still overheat the gun, which will cause you to kind of have to like do an animation, which is kind of like reloading. But if you never have that animation, it's basically no reload. All for the aftermarket parts, here are our unreleased weapon code names and when they were added to the file and you can pause this to get a look at everything but basically we've had some gun guys who have kind of gone into the finals looked at what these names are and then kind of match them up with what guns they could be for example the stango 44 we believe is the stg 44 we obviously all know what the stg 44 is it's an ar that was in world war ii world at war modern warfare all the black ops and even advanced warfare it is right now the most common gun tied with the mp40 and only second to the 1911 pistol with this code name being in the files it is hinted to either come out in season five or of course season six but we are really hoping to come out in season five next we have the compound bow which we don't have a whole lot of info on because all we know of is the fact that was a score streak in cold war or a specialist thing in black ops 2 and 3 however with the compound bow we do know that it is in modern warfare 3 they are trying to find a way to release it as we know they have had ammo change in the files so what I mean by this is that sledgehammer has actually already gone in and added a compound bow ammo type just so we wouldn't have to combine it with sniper ammo or anything like that it will be its own ammo type own gun Another new weapon that we haven't seen yet in the premium version of Call of Duty is the spear. It's a melee weapon currently in COD Mobile, but as previously said, we haven't yet seen this in the premium version of a Call of Duty game. With this weapon, we don't yet know if we'll be able to throw the spear or if it will simply just be a melee. I guess we will just have to wait and see how that all works out. Of course, it could have the potential to be a spear-like melee, plus have the throwing knife ability where you throw it and you can also pick it up but again this will require its own ammo type thing and a whole new animation that we have yet to get in premium call of duty now back to our regular guns you know normal lmgs ars type thing we have an rpl 20. this rpl 20 is an lmg coming with season 5 however we've never seen it in a call of duty franchise before but we have seen it gaming wise in a franchise known as battlefield i think this is a cool ad i don't think we get dlc lmgs much so this will be cool to see how they do and just what the lmg entails our final gun that should be coming with season 5 is an ar called the avs 36 unlike the rpl 20 this gun has been seen in a cod franchise before in world war ii 2017 when we look at world war ii 2017 and look at the creators of that game we see sledgehammer also the creators of modern warfare 3 so you can almost just perfectly entail that avs 36 from world war ii is probably going to be identical in modern warfare 3 we are not for sure on how these guns will look, feel, or anything when they come in. However, we can just assume that Sledgehammer made World War II, so Sledgehammer will probably bring in a similar style of the AVS-36, just a monorized uh, skin on top. As of now, these are all the guns that we know are coming to Modern Warfare 3. However, I would like to know in the comments below what guns or weapons, for the matter, would you like to see. And I ask that you be creative, all the way from boomerangs to shotguns, ARs, anything that you want to see in the game, let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys have down below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're back to kind of doing this style of video. So hit that subscribe button, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.